tonight we have a really special show for you. We're gonna do a game show called So You Think You Know Your Drink. So we're gonna test Andy and see if he knows his whiskey. We have got five different types of whiskey here. We're gonna do a blind tasting and see if he knows his whiskey. Are you feeling confident? Yes. So let's get started. I have a glass here for him. We got his trusty stainless steel whiskey stones. So we've got Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey Whiskey, Jim Beam Kentucky Straight Bourbon, his favorite, J. Henry. <laughs> that would be embarrassing if you didn't know that one. That would be pretty bad. <laughs> Jameson. And we also have Knob Creek. And a mystery one. And a mystery one. Oh, I'll throw something mystery in there and we'll see if you can guess it. So we'll pour you up a drink. You can taste it. Kind of like mull it around. I like to do a test that's called. When I do that, it just helps me. So if you well, need. She only does it like five or six times, <laughs> then she'll. <laughs> it helps. So if you need to do that, you feel free and see if it works. So we'll know that I was right the whole time. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna be awful if I forgot which one was which. Oh no. <laughs> we'll start you out with something easy. Okay. There you go. Mull it over. Let me make sure the camera's rolling. Wouldn't it be embarrassing if I like wasn't taping? It smells like Tennessee honey. Jack Daniels. Okay, well you better mull it over and then write your write your choice on the paper and then I'll have you turn around, hold it up to the camera, and we'll see if you're right. Oh, the suspense. So what do you think it is? I think it's a Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey. Well, let's see if you're right. Actually, you're wrong. It was a Jack Daniels mm. Tennessee Honey. What the hell is that? <laughs> Just kidding. Ding! You are correct. Are you feeling confident? Yes. Okay, number two. See, that's the test. You just did the test. I got four more times really at that. <laughs> what if your spouse was like working on writing and you were doing this the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> then you would be like, thank you, that is so cute. <laughs> the correct answer is you would just be happy to have a spouse. That is true. <laughs> I do that. I believe it is Jim Beam Bourbon. Is that your final answer? No. Oh, I can't smell the cup. You're gonna go with that? Yes. It was. Ding! Really? It was the Jameson. Ah! This leads to another. This leads to another She's conversation. Cheating. It's the whole like. Coke versus Pepsi conversation. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a variety of ranges in pricing with all these different bottles. You know, so the whole like argument of, oh, Coke versus Pepsi, they all taste the same. They do not all taste the same, but some are similar. I just thought it was kind of funny. Like, yeah, I mean, that one. She's cheating. Are you liking those oyster crackers? Oh, yeah. Are they delicious? They're, they are delicious. They're not a quarter pounder with cheese and fries, but they're a close second. Oh no, I did give you the wrong one. Just kidding, I'm never wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Mull it over. Oof, I think I know which one this one is. I'm not feeling so confident. But just to be fair, he just had cinnamon whiskey and another drink before this, so. His taste buds are not reliable she right now. that on purpose too. Okay, I think I know which one that one is. There you go, perfect. What if I told you you were wrong? I wouldn't be surprised. Which one do you think it is if it wasn't that? If it wasn't wrong, I think it. Maybe the J. Henry, to, look, to taste it stronger. You wanna smell the bottles? Yes, it is J. Henry. <laughs> Just like I said. <laughs> You're correct. It's J. Henry. Yes. <laughs> Ding! I, I should have known that being a... It was pretty smooth. 
So what am I? One out of three now? <laughs> oh, you got this one right. Yes, two out of three. <laughs> <laughs> I said, would you like to smell them? You can. You're welcome to smell them. Sniffing things is okay these days. <laughs> Do you want your surprise one now? Or do you want another whiskey one? Oh, ouch, my name. Let's be the absence. Oh, damn it. That's just what I was going to pick. <laughs> now I can't. <laughs> mystery one huh this is a mystery one i just went to our medicine cabinet and said Ooh, let's give it a spin Ooh, what's it taste like it tastes like the cherry stuff cherry um cherry stuff yeah the hairy is that what it's called <laughs> that is correct is it? yeah it is you win say hearing the cherry liqueur mm, yeah that's so that's yummy is it like sweet at all yes it's sweet is it like maraschino cherry or like normal like cherry off the bush? Like, like... <laughs> I think that part said it. Like, I'm like a regular cherry, like yes. Cherry. Um, it tastes like a bush cherry. <laughs> <laughs> um, like it doesn't I... taste like a sugary fake cherry. Like... No, it tastes like a cherry you probably get like when you um, buy cherries in the store. What did we use it in? I thought it was a bourbon. I think it's from Denmark. Let's uh, get on with this. You only got two left, so. Here, I'll tell you which one it is. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna guess Knob Creek. Knob Creek. Since we have one to two, if I tell you, then you already know what the last one is. Just take your time, you just drank 20 ounces of whiskey. <laughs> Why? Just kidding. <laughs> Face down on the floor. Just kidding. Do you need to sniff the bottles? You can sniff it. Sniffing is permitted, as we said. Yes. <laughs> I think this one's a knob creek. This is a knob creek. What you got in your hand there? And this is 120 proof. I thought it tasted pretty strong. Yeah, like... 120 proof. This is a knob creek. And then this. Mm -hmm was the Jim B. Okay. So, so not too shabby. What's your favorite still? Like by itself. By itself, it's pretty with Jay Henry. What's the most strong or like fire breathing? It was probably not a creek. That's why I'm like, after I sip this, I'm like, I don't know, it's gotta be that one. <laughs> now here, I'll get the mash and you'll be like, <gasps> and I'll be like, right. whoo, no eyebrows. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe I had Jameson wrong. That's good though. So yeah. You can't really go wrong with any of them. Well, you pick the J. Henry by itself a lot, but it's mm -hmm. very rare that any of these you drink by themselves. So just that in their true. plain state, like they're usually mixed with something. Yep. I mean, they're still like strong. There you have it. What's your least favorite of these? Out of all of them? Oh, jeez. Well, let's I'm... say if you were going to drink it straight. If you were going to have them on the rocks, which one would you, which would be your last pick? My last pick on the rocks? See, I like them all. I don't want to badmouth anybody. J. Henry would probably be my first favorite. And the rest would be tied for second. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. So, well, we've done our first little game of five of our whiskeys here. You did pretty good, not Thank too you. shabby. Feeling pretty good. Everybody wins with this game. Yes. <laughs> he, he thinks he knows his drinks, and I think he I think he knows. I think he Tried. knows pretty well. <laughs> Just wanna thank both our bartenders. If you like what you see, please hit like and subscribe for more. We'll try to do a couple more games like this. Join us next time. Cut. <laughs> Are they sitting in just cups? Glasses. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, look at all the dishes. <laughs> um, babe, are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only Tennessee. <laughs>